What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video, I'm going to be talking about iOS 9 Beta 2. So today, June 23rd, 2015, Apple went ahead and released iOS 9 Beta 2. Now we were expecting this yesterday, June 22nd, in accordance with previous betas uh, that would be released last year and in years before. Um, it's usually every two weeks exactly on the dot, but it's been two weeks in one day. Not a big deal, but anyway, so it was a surprise to see it today. We also saw Watch OS 2 Beta 2, as well as OS X El Capitan 10.11 Beta 2. But we're focusing on iOS 9 Beta 2, because I'm happy to say that there is this is quite a big update. And it's not because there's a lot of new features, like for example, uh, with the Apple Watch app, Apple went ahead and changed up the title to just Watch, um, or the Podcast app has a new icon. Also, Handoff has been re-enabled and is now working uh, across all iOS 9 devices that are running Beta 2, which is is nice, um, but the major big part of iOS 9 Beta 2, especially for me, is this is a gigantic stability improvement, um, bug performance and fixes, and, or bug fixes and performance issues uh, are fixed, and bugs are squashed, and everything is just a hell of a lot better. Um, I'm nowhere near experiencing as many glitches and bugs and problems uh, on this beta than I was of Beta 1, so for those of you that are wondering, um, if you haven't already registered to get iOS 9, this is the time to do it, and if you're waiting four bugs to be fixed this is also um, the update that will fix it just to show you there the different beta build next to 9.0 I am running in order to update you'll navigate to settings general and about and right here you should see um, that you're due for an update for iOS 9 beta 2 now this of course is only uh, if you have installed iOS 9 beta 1 if you haven't done that yet and you're still on iOS 8 or some other previous version uh, and are looking to get iOS 9 I'm going to leave a link down in the description actually two links one is going to be a tutorial which is going to tell you exactly how to upgrade uh, to the iOS 9 beta and another one is going to tell you exactly how to register your device to do so and that is with UDIDregistrations.com of course um, they're the site that I always recommend to register your iDevice to run Apple's latest and greatest betas so check out their link down in the description also like I said be sure to follow my tutorial because that'll give you a step-by-step -step process of how you too can be running iOS 9 on your device um, but it's that simple and once you have it running you're pretty much set like I said so far there really isn't that much new in this build except for the fact that there's a lot of improvements uh, all around the block which I was really really happy to see now one thing that I was kind of disappointed about is the music app and as you can see it doesn't have the new icon that we were supposed to see um, when Apple Music launches next Monday on June 30th now of course it's a little bit early so it's not surprising um, but the thing is this beta is probably going to have to last two weeks and that is not the same amount of time uh, from today when Apple Music comes out that's less than a week um, so I, it's, I tweeted about this and kind of got a little pissed off because I feel like Apple should have laid the framework and had everything hidden in iOS 9 beta 2 so that once Monday hits next week um, Apple Music would automatically launch and work for any iOS 9 beta 2 users because the bottom line is if we're running iOS 9 we're not going to want to downgrade to 8.4 to be able to use Apple Music we're going to want to be able to use Apple Music on iOS 9 beta and so I just I was very confused by this and like I said disappointed uh, maybe it could be the first instance where Apple will release iOS 9 beta 3 already next Monday um, or they could just say hey developers you're gonna have to wait an extra week until we release the next beta um, which will feature of course Apple Music but we'll have to wait and see I was just kind of disappointed because I'm really eager to try out Apple Music and it looks like for the first week I'm probably just gonna have to use it on my Mac and iPad which will be the only ones updatable, I guess. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. That is iOS 9 Beta 2. I'm going to leave all links down in the description so you can see the tutorial in order to get iOS 9 and, of course, who you're going to want to register with, UDIDregistrations.com, of course. So check those links out. But if you guys like this video, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.